Bless the love, my Lord and Empress. Give thanks, you know. What do you want in your life? Last year, yeah. Rastafari. Yeah, today we're gonna read from one of my favorite books. Revelation, chapter one, you know. And we're gonna go right into it, huh? The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must surely come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who be a record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that readeth and heareth the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written herein, for the time is at hand. John to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you and peace from him which is and which was and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before the throne. Holy money will I. Rastafari. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, and unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. Holy money will I. Rastafari. So, you have John, who is the forerunner, and you have Christ, same way, you know. And Christ said, John must always come first. The forerunner must always come first before Christ come, you know. And two two thousand years ago, Christ come in the time of Matthew. And um, even in special with Matthew twenty four, we can connect with that. And in a Matthew 24 church said, in the last days, you know, Christ will come in the West, you know, God. Two thousand years ago, him come in the East, and the three wise men follow the star in the East, and you now Christ said, in the last days, as the lightning flash in the East and come in the West, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. You know, so I'm sure you naturally say in the last days, in coming in the West. And then Revelation 1 now begins, you see, with the declaration of his coming in this time. Seeing which, according to the scriptures, it would be in the West, which here which we live is called the Western world, the Western hemisphere, you know. And we can continue on reading. And he said, and the first begotten of the dead because at that time they crucified the man and the man resurrected after three days you know and showed him so him have the power you know to overcome death you know and all these things and even when Lazarus you know had passed <coughs> the people them say ja, we wish you were here you know because he, he wouldn't have passed, you know, but the man said, it's for dear sake why he wasn't there, you know. You know, and when Nazareth was passed, he was even starting to smell, to show sure him start decaying. And the man bring him forward to life again. You know, to show the world, you know, that he had this power, you know, so the first begotten of the dead, you know, and to even return to life, you know, and bring other people to life, you know. So, this is the power of the man that we are speaking of, you know, we say in this time is King Emmanuel Charles Edwards, the Black Christ in return, and we'd say Marcus Gavi would be the forerunner of the said John in the Western world. Alright, and we can continue. And he said, And have made us kings and priests unto God and his, and his Father, and to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. And we would say a man, you know, called King Celestia, yeah, Rastafari. Because the Bible teaches them that the word of God is spirit. 
you know, but the, the, pardon me. The word teaches us that God is spirit. But the Bible teaches that this God is spirit, you know, but he come in flesh. You know, that's how we say, a man, you know, a man, Marcus Celestia, yeah? that's the fire. A man, King Celestia, yeah? that's the fire. A man, holy man, he will have Celestia, yeah? that's the fire. You know, so we give thanks, you know. And it's uh, him that make us kings and priests unto God because King Emmanuel Christ come with order of Melchizedek, they say, which make us sons of God, you know, and kings and priests, you know, like unto himself, you know, which is the seven spirits, the seven priests, seven angels, which are before the throne, you know, which the Bible will explain um, further on, you know. So these seven priests, the seven spirits of God come in flesh. You know, all spirits come in flesh, you know. So we can manifest and see them and you know, communicate. You know. So we give thanks. He said, Be all. And continue reading seven verse. Be all he cometh with clothes, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierce him. And all the king judges of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so am I. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, saith the Lord, which is, which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. Holy money will I, Celestia, Asia, Rastafari. So, you know, even it's written in the red writing, you know, so when it's written in the red writing, that's Christ speaking, and the man said, you know, it means the Almighty, you know. So sometimes you hear people say, oh, Christ is just the Son of God, and... You know, your father is the Almighty. You know? Father, Son, and you know, Holy One. You know? Prophet, Peace, and King you know, is the Almighty. You know? Man of right, you know, is God in flesh. You know? and you only have one God, you know? the Almighty. You know? So when you see one, you see him, God, you know? the Almighty. You know? you know, when you say unto one, you say unto him, God, you know? the Almighty. You know? Our Father, you know? Holy Man, you know, is the last year. He's a Rastafari. And continue the nine verse. I, John, who am also your brother and companion in tribulation, and in the kingdom and the patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos, for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. And I was in the spirit on the last day, and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. Holy money will I, Celestia, Rastafari. Now, this island called Patmos in this time, I know I would say, would be the island of Jamaica. Just like how in Revelation 11 it tell you a spiritual Saddam and In the number two world, it's going to say, oh yeah, yeah, the island called Patmos, and you know, this is where it took place, you know. But in this time, you know, history repeats itself, you know. Saying that was true and that took place at that time. In this time, history repeats itself. You know, and Christ said, in this time, you come in the Western world. You know, so you look in the Western world, you have the islands, the Caribbean islands. And this is where John and Christ come. You know, even fulfilling these scriptures. You know, because you see Marcus Gave come first as a forerunner in the island of Jamaica, which we say is spiritual as Patmos in this time. And, you know, and temple and Marcus Gave come first as a forerunner in the western world and him say look to the east for the crowning of a black king and he shall be the king of kings and these things and we see it happen which is written in Revelation 19 you know which is one of the, 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 the main reasons why Rastafari heal Emperor Haile Selassie as the almighty God because of what John prophesied, which you can read of in Revelation 19. Right? The coronation of our, of our father, Emperor Lysilassia and Empress Menin, you know, on November 2nd, 1930. Fulfilling the scriptures. You see, so the Bible is real. And we always say, somebody wrong, but it's not the Bible. That's all I know, you know. And John come and say, look to the east, and we see it at Marcus Garvey. And the martyr said, there are, a man will rise in Jamaica who slanders latch. He Marcus Gavin, if he stoop down and, and latch. And our father declared this, 
you know, of Marcus, Musa Yagyavi, you know. S- saying that the man said these things and him said also on the north east side of Warwicka Hill. You know, it's where a black man true leader will arrive in this time, you see me? And we see all these things fulfilled. You know, and the man say even out of the bloody city, 10 miles out of the bloody city, is where you will find the black man leader in this time, man. You know, the ill foot for the gathering of I and I is people for repatriation. Marcus Gavi prophesied all these things and Marcus Gavi did even come and reside right there in Boldia where the ill foot begin because he said the sea will take back Kingston. You see it in, in time to come. You, you know, which we see it happening right now. You know, because the sea arise down there, you know. In this time. So we give thanks, you know, for all these fulfillment. You know, we see our father come with the slanders latch on the northeast side of Walker Hill, 10 miles out of the city, you know, fulfilling all these things. You see, it? so I know I give thanks for these things. And we said Jamaica now becomes the island of Patmos, just like how in Revelation 11 it shows that you have spiritual Saddam and Gomorrah and Egypt, which we see come fulfilling this time in, this, in the Western world hemisphere. And all these parts you see it egypt you know which means slavery and all these things we see all these things fulfilled so likewise we see the island of patmos where christ and john come also fulfilled in jamaica you know and christ come and fulfill everything the bible says because he come with the seven angels which are the seven priests he come with them branches of churches you see like what it said the churches in asia and so on so on you see the seven churches in this time you find churches in the islands and over the world and him gathering i and i with the robes of white and the turban making us kings and priests and to god with the melchizedek order you see it and all these things fulfill that is written in the bible you see it gathering is 144 000 elect for repatriation as is written also but I won't go too far ahead of myself, you know. It's just that it is plain to see that these things are taking place, you know. And he said, uh, 11 verse saying, I am Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, which, and what thou seest write in a book, and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus, and unto Smyrna, and unto Pergamos, and unto Thyatira and unto Sardis, Thyatira, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the pops with a golden girdle. Holy Emmanuel Celestia Ija Rastafari and if you look at the picture on the screen you see that Prince Emmanuel our father King Emmanuel Charles Edwards fulfilled these things literally you know down to the voice showing that the Bible is plain to see you know you say God is his own interpreter he will make it plain you know so these things are plain to see that you know that these things is natural and the truth you know was hidden but it wasn't changed you know, it only needs reveal to be revealed, which is the book of Revelation. You know, so all these things are natural. You know, down to the vice. You know, everything, all the everything fulfilled. And him say, uh, his head and his ear. You look at his head. You see the turban, wear white like wool. And you look at his precepts. You can see his ear. You see, wear white uh, as snow. And his eyes were the flame of fire, and his feet were like unto fine brass, as if they were burnt in a furnace. And his voice was as the sound of many waters. And obviously, the man had on him slender, so you could see his feet. And when you hear the man's voice of Prince Emmanuel, you know that this is the voice of such man that John saw and heard, you know, as we come witness in this time. And he added in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two edged sword. And his countenance was as it were was as the sun shining in his strength repeat and his countenance was as the sun shining in his strength 
And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. A man, holy man, never lie, Celestia, Ija, Rastafari, and have the keys of death, of hell, and of death, said the Most High. Give him one of the seven, Adonia, Gaja, Rastafari. So, the man that we speak of is the man who did raise many dead, including Lazarus, you know, and the man saying, Drop flesh, this rubber flesh, him drop, but him also rise. You know, so I and I give thanks, you know, for the man who have the keys, you know, of death and the owner of all his issues, you know. You know, and the man said death couldn't keep his prey to the bars away. So all these things are the glorious things I've spoken of the man. And I know his touch still have his ancient power. You know, you know, so the man still have these powers, you know, to this day, you know. And when every morning them sing, it's on the bright and glorious morning when the dead in Christ shall rise, you know. And Christ tells us that and he's going to raise up all the dead on the last day. You know, and the glory of his resurrection. Here, you know. So, and I look to see the man, you know, again, you know, in this time, you know, said the most time. last year, I just rest of fire. You know, because the man have all these powers. You know, these things are just facts, you know. And so, right, the things which thou have seen, and the things which are, you see, and the things which shall be after, you know. So these things are, you know, you know, and these things, you know, shall be, you know, after, you know. And the man said, the mystery of the seven stars, which thou see in my right hand are the seven, and the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars, the seven angels of the seven churches. The seven candlesticks which thou see are the seven churches. You know, I, and I, slash, yeah, yeah. Rest of all. So, and I give thanks. You know, for all these natural fulfillment of our Father, you know, and give thanks, you know, for the Bible, you know, because His Majesty said, without the Bible and, and to accept the truth of the Bible, man have no hope for salvation, you know. So, in this time, you know, and the words of the Bible are going to see us true, you know, and you know, that way you see going on in the world, you know, you have to know whose side you're on, if you're on God's side, you know, how you're going to, you know, be fallen, you know, by the evil of the world, you know, because them out there are seek, you know, to, to capture people, you know, but our Father teach us and the Bible teach us, so you have to know, you know, to do the right, you know, and to always trust. In the ways of our Father, Holy Emmanuel, so that's the same, yeah? That's the Father, just in the ways of the Bible, yeah?